to I Love Stocks. Today I want to bring up a ticker that everybody's been kind of excited about, and that is going to be, can anybody guess? Blue Apron. Blue Apron's had a wonderful run, and we're just going to pull up the chart right now and have a little look at it. I cleared it all up. We've had a nice little run on the five-day chart from 201 all the way up to 2884. First thing in the morning I called out, I said we're about overextended, which we were. You know, we're up from $2 to 28 up six, 60, 26 something, twenty six eighty three dollars a share. So, you know, that's up pretty good. And there's going to be a couple patterns in here I'm going to find for support levels. And that's what we're going to do right now. But I'm going to give you a little trader's tip if you don't already know this. We'll go straight to Finviz. And I want to figure out what size of float I got. And this is probably one of the most accurate places where I look for a float because I can't rely, definitely I can't rely on toss, think or swim, and um, trade ideas, which I, I use as a scanner, is not that accurate either. But each one of them gives me an idea of maybe where the, the float is. So I'm gonna type in apron right here on Finviz. If I was new and wanted to look for a stock or some of you maybe don't know that you could use Finviz for a, for a, a, a place to find floats. And right here it says I have 8 million float on it. And then you get all your numbers too, all your financials and whatever you want to want to look. So it's something to look at. Finviz, I started using it when I traded about 15 years ago. So let's go ahead. We know we got a low floater here, and we know that the low float people have been playing this stock. So that gives, brings in a whole new room of traders. Let's try to find a support. Today's support was right here at 12.04. So that was today's support. Then we had that big engulfing candle yesterday that broke out where we had these two engulfing candles there at 976. Let's bring it up, yeah. Well, let's bring it up just a little bit higher. I think I need to get a little bit more, more of a, so let's magnify this area right in here so I can really get a good look at it. Right there, 986. That's gonna be our low support. And then we're gonna have another one right here at 13 something then we had a little consolidated period right up in here at 1496 we went into after hours and we continue up here to the resistance level on this one minute one hour chart on the 20 day right there as a resistance of double top resistance of 1805 1804 so that's what I'm going to go with is the base of these candles we're going to pull this up now let's look at this one more time and see if there's anything I missed and there was something else I wanted to show you on here. We had a little ascending triangle right here. And we kind of had one right in here. So we're going to see a consolidated area right down here, right around the 710 area. I call this an ascending triangle, and I'll show you why here in a second. Put that right there. And I'll change this to a... Turn that off change this into a blue line and I'm going to change the width to about three that's going to be my low support if it does decide to pull on back to that area right there we do have a couple's other stops one's going to be right here at 873 and that's right there where that 100 day moving average is on the five day chart then we got another one right here so if we get down into this area you'll probably see some consolidation but you'll see a real strong support at 714 if it does decide to knife on us. Now, this is the ascending triangle that I'm talking about. And let's go ahead and draw this trend line in here where you could tell it was getting ready to break out again. And we'll just pull that right there. Bam. You see where it touched down right here? And we got the little, so that I knew right then that we were going to have a breakout here because it started to squeeze you had your lower highs and I've done a video on this you can go back to last Saturday maybe and watch a little ascending triangle video that I did kind of gives you an idea maybe when we're getting into breakouts and I do like chart patterns a lot so we have another resistance up here at 2044 on the one hour chart whoop let me go ahead and change it back to this the dollar sign Bam. Then another one right another resistance right up here. And another one right there. Now I've got that on the 20 day one hour. 
So let's pull this up to the daily three minute. See if there's anything I missed in here. We have another resistance right up here. You know, we're getting high up here over extended area. So what I'm trying to find is places that I think it can pull back to. We got that first support down here at 1204. So I'm going to darken that in for a strong buy with red. This is apron. That's going to be a strong buy if it decides to come back. It could dive down a little bit lower than that. Let's go this 1128. I'm going to color that in for a support level. We'll just go ahead and draw that in. Right there. So that's going to be my first support between this 1128 and 1204. If it gets down in there and we see a little bit of congestion, it could bounce up and hit a resistance breakout of right around this 1581 area, 1592, and I'm going to call that a hard resistance. That's going to be a hard resistance. I need to get back up here to the dollar sign. They're never the same, but they're close. Let's just magnify this up so I can get a better. There we go. Right there. 1588. For ones that aren't familiar with TOS, you can magnify them up just by hitting your right click, holding down on it, and moving that arrow over. So there's another lesson for you. We've got a little channel creating right here with a low support of 1128. Anything below that's going to be a strong buy. Could pull back to, like I said, on that ascending triangle. And that was on the 20 day. That would be that 714 area. That's going to be your low, 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 low support for a bounce up. Maybe back up to the $10 area. And maybe back up to right around this 986. And if that decides to break out, it can go back up to 11. But for right now, we're going to pull back into this channel. And I like to see that hold. If it doesn't hold, we're going down to that next support at 986. And that's a pretty good little dip from that. But that strong support level from 1128 to 1204. The first one's going to be right here at 1332. If that holds or not, or we could wake up in the morning and this thing could start to break out again. It's got to break past this resistance of 1496 up to 1588 into this new channel up here and that's another ascending triangle that we had right in here you could see the higher lows and then you could see the horizontal line that had a resistance here at 1792 that's going to be your third hard resistance i doubt if it would get up much higher unless the momentum comes in so we have a low strong buy at 714 we have a first sub ideal support system right down in here right between 1128 to 1204 the resistance to break is going to be this 1496, and if you can break past that, you might get into this new channel of 1805, and that's Apron. And always remember, I love stocks. You can go straight to our I love stocks here. Follow us on Twitter. We do have a Twitter page. We're up to 1,235 followers. We just started this about six months ago, so we're adding on, adding on, adding on. And then we've also got on our website where you can go to our stock Twitch page, Pinterest, and we do have our YouTube channel. You hit that baby and you can go back and look at all the YouTube videos that we have done on here. And this is my little lesson on identifying a bullish pattern on an ascending triangle if you want to go back and watch that. Vegas also has some in here about, oh, well, let's go back a little ways if we can. We've got some here on Cheddar Flow, a couple of videos on Cheddar Flow. I did an all-day special oh, last week or something. Where was that? Right in here. Now, that's a review on Tesla. Right here, I did a crystal ball watch. Now, that's space. Well, it's around here somewhere, somewhere in there. But we have a bunch of videos you can watch. And we just want to wish you all a great trading week. I think we're going to be a little bearish tomorrow into the weekend i got me a spy put and i'll be checking that out always remember i love stocks